All right, let's get into this. Let's hit it. Let's do that. Oh, my light is off. My light is off and the camera has reverted. Right, I did reset my... <sighs> okay. <laughs> give me give me a second here. Uh, why, why do these things revert? Wow, the auto focus on, the auto exposure is on, no light compensation. All of these things take away from FPS on a camera. So it's not good to have them on. Uh, okay, so we got to do some zoom and then we do some pan. Uh, that'll do. And some tilts. Yeah. Uh, sure, everything else. Uh, saturation is always a little off. Oh, yeah, no. I am not that brown. Uh, <laughs> white, white balance is on auto as well. Stop it! Okay. Okay. That, that looks good. I'm just gonna have to remember, every time I have restarted the computer, these settings completely nullify and I've gotta, re I've gotta redo them. Uh, it's just a thing to do. Uh, okay, let me get my Be Right Back page up. That looks good. Microphone looks good. Everything is all green in OBS. Okay, so yesterday we did the in-between stuff uh, for uh, the, the pre-stuff for getting into the temple. So we are headed towards the second temple, uh, Snowhead. Snowhead Temple, we have gotten the Goron Mask, we've gotten the bigger bomb bag, uh, we've, uh, yeah, a bunch of bunch of little things. Uh, gotten the, the Donjero, the, the Frog Choir Mask. So, you know, it, it's gonna take a little bit longer, what with doing the 100% the type run, but uh, uh, that's, that's what we're in for. Um, now, after the stream <laughs> yesterday, Right, like I'm, I'm closing down, and and you know I, I cut the stream off, and I just close the emulator window, just close it. Did not save, did not, uh, did not save state, did not uh, uh, sing the song of time and save, even though that's the next thing to do. Um, so yeah, I lost the entire streams worth of, of stuff. Now it was a normal size stream; it was uh, about ninety minutes, ninety maybe hundred minutes. Uh, and thus knowing what I had to do, I just kind of casually played it uh, from from where I started the stream yesterday. Uh, it, it's not a very involved set of things that we did, so I just ran around everywhere and not having to read it over again. Uh, I actually got it done in, in maybe like 30, 40 minutes. So, so yeah, knowing what to do and, and knowing where to go and all of that, you can really cut out a lot of this 
uh, a lot of the time. Uh, but yeah, so this is starting again. I did save yesterday after I replayed <laughs> the whole thing. Uh, so, so there was that. Uh, also, I wanted to mention, um, uh, placated if you're around. I played a, a lot like my uh, my MMO that I'm playing. Uh, Final Fantasy XI was in maintenance last night. Uh, which they still do maintenance. Go figure. And uh, I played a lot more of the Battle Brigade. Uh, Chef Battle Brigade. Battle Brigade. Chef Battle Chef. Wh whatever. Uh, with the the fighting and the gem matching for cooking. And, and I played a good chunk more of that. The... Uh, it seems like the battle part is not getting any more complicated, but the gem matching part is getting much more complicated. Like they introduced some more story elements and some more things to do with the gems and, and uh, you know, all, all relating to how the, the story moves forward. And and uh, I'm like, oh, that's uh, it. It's almost gotten a little too complicated for the fact that you still have to go out and fight monsters to get your your gem pieces and, and all of that. That's um, so it's kind of it's kind of on the line for me now. Uh, so so uh, if it gets any more complicated, I might just drop it. I, I've lost a couple of battles now, and and it's like oh, this is just it's just kind of complex and disjointed still in in certain ways. Uh, so uh, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I will continue with that, but for the moment, it's still sitting right there on, on the line for me. Uh, also with the, um, like last night I went to to uh, uh, start up Final Fantasy XI, and I hit the, uh, I, I, I launch it with a third party launcher, because when XI came out, you could not put it in a window. Like it always went full screen, and you need so much extra help to play XI, you know that uh, you always need a browser window up, looking up stuff. So it's, it's just not, you know, since then, through the official game, you can launch it in a window, but the window gives you a lot more uh, flexibility. However, you can also load, you know, third party cheats and stuff through the window because it's a launcher. Uh, but, you know, just just don't and use it for <laughs> the the uh, the actual useful stuff that you can do. Uh, so I, I launched the window and uh, when I launched it, it uh, the the shortcut went away on my system. It deleted itself. I was like, "Wait, what? What went on here?" And the um, what had happened was Windows 10 decided in its its uh, wisdom that that program, even though I've been using it for about uh, two months now, right right then that program was a little suspicious and just just deleted it. You know, I had to like go looking through the logs to see what happened, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we decided this program was not that uh, was not on the up and up, but we we did de we deleted it." And so I'm like, "Okay, what deleted it? <laughs> How do I stop you?" And it's like, "What what are you doing? What are you doing, Windows 10? I've been using this for for two months. Nothing's happened to my computer. You didn't complain about it at any point, and then suddenly it's just like, oh." You're doing that thing with the third party. No, you can't do that. But uh, but yeah, I had to go in and and uh, tweak some security settings because Windows 10 has like an extra malware type scanner on top of because uh, I have a, an antivirus that is set up how I like that you know it has the exceptions and everything. But uh, uh, yeah, that is just uh, just infuriating when when Windows does things like that. Anyway, just just uh, keeping y'all folks updated. Uh, I'll go ahead and start the timer. Uh, we are going to hit the save state, uh, and once we load that state, it will be um, it will be right. We'll we'll be hitting. Yeah, like I got all of this done in a slowed down first half of first day. So, you know, it, it's not something that takes a lot of time. So now uh, we'll hit the uh, Song of Time, because the next thing to do is just the temple. Just uh, heading out there and doing the temple. Uh. Oh, I got the mouse right on it again. 
Yes, dawn of the first day. Money, did I... did... Let, let's check that. Let's reload that state. Oh, I didn't have any money. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Whew. <laughs> I've, I've done that so many times now. <laughs> Just played the song of time and, and accidentally lost my money. I want to, yes, I, I've done it so many times, Cupcake. It was good to see you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. Um, oh, and I put the mouse back up on the, <laughs> okay. Lost a bit of pro, right, right, right. I'm, I'm trying, like, uh, I was explaining at the head of the stream that, uh, when I closed the stream yesterday, I forgot to everything and I just closed the emulator. So I lost about an hour, and I, I just replayed it off stream. But uh, but I was like, God, don't do that. <laughs> Remember things. All right, let's uh, slow down time. Woodfall took me 90 minutes. I was gonna get the Mask of Sense. Yeah, oh, <laughs> oh, that that is that is sad. <laughs> okay, um, if Moobot would come around, Moobot would also uh, let everybody in the stream know that I'm doing this with a guide because I have a, an interesting relationship with Majora's Mask in that I have played it through twice in the recent years gotten all the way to the end and not beat the final boss and just kind of something happened in my life I had to step away from gaming uh, just got busy just whatever twice already and just never got back to it so uh, when I started my Zelda generations thing I was I was very adamant uh, with my moderators like okay when I get to Majora's Mask we're gonna use a guide because I have played it through twice and I don't want to refigure everything out so uh, so for doing the doing it with the guide, we are doing a hundred percent though. So, so that'll be interesting to see a hundred percent run. Um, okay. So we are headed to. Uh, oh no, we don't. We're not doing the temple yet. We still got to deal with the. Um, uh, um, I, I mean, I did, the, the first two times I played it, I played it without a guide, uh, I did get stymied in a, in a couple of places, where I was just like, what, what do you do here? Um, but, uh, yeah, it takes a lot more time, uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, we gotta do the, uh, right before the temple part, uh, we gotta take care of the big Goron, uh, who's blowing, blowing out there. Okay. Went to a stream once where they were trying to do an end game quest before you were doing Woodfall. <laughs> you pointed it out and got purged. Well, I mean, you know, if there if if it's a no spoilers thing, then I can understand that. But uh but yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, if you're if you're doing it with a guide, then uh then all of that is laid out for you. They refused to, and they were still trying to do an endgame thing. Ah, uh, well. What's going on there? That sound's coming from everywhere. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, it, it can be it can be daunting. Uh, I know I I got pretty held up on Ocarina as well in a couple of places. Uh. I knew they beat the game because I'd see they were playing every time I better know if they caved and got a guy. Uh, the, um, like I know when I did Ocarina this time, Ocarina was uh, basically blind 
because uh, it's been way too long since I've played it. Uh, and getting into the Twilight, uh, Ace Ridley, I uh, appreciate the follow. Um, getting into the Twilight Temple and getting the uh, the Lens of Truth, like I was completely wrong about how to do that. You completely re like uh, I I stumbled upon the the trade quest that led to the big Goron sword, and I was like, oh, people are asking me to do all these trades in the town where you get to the Twilight Temple. Maybe this is how you get the the uh, the lens of truth. And <laughs> so I was doing all of the, all this fetch quest stuff, and then I was like, oh wait, maybe if I go back in time and do it as Young Link, maybe, and that that was the answer there. But I got most of the Big Goron Sword done. <laughs> uh, thinking that that was the way to go. Um, for the most part, uh, Ocarina of Time is not too bad, except for the Water Temple. Like, I started uh, this past time that I did it, I, I tried to do it on my own, and then I mapped everything. I did a paper map. And then I was like, oh, okay, I see how this is formed. But then you take a look at the later temples. It's like the water temple is just has a special amount of, of uh, uh, difficulty to it. It's like it is way off of the difficulty map as far as like all of the other ones might as well be linear up to that point. Um, okay. We're headed up north. Are we? Uh, follow the path. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> uh, Water Temple's Peanuts compared to this game's one. This game's one is ridiculous because uh, not only it's time. The, yeah, when I played Majora's Mask the first time, I ran out of time. In, in the water temple. I had to do a, a, a complete reset. Uh, and of course, the second time around, uh, not figuring stuff out, you can do it uh, pretty well. Uh, and you can do it within the time limit. But yeah, it's it's uh, kind of hard to do trying to figure everything out. Uh, okay, follow the pathway at the northwest of the area. Can, can we... Okay, there we go. Uh, Northwest, this way. Uh, this time moves faster when inverted than... Oh, in... Uh, are you talking about the 3DS version? So, so slowed down time on the 3DS version moves faster than this slow down time? Ooh, that's weird. I know you get some other benefits, though. Um, like, uh, oh man, I really needed... <laughs> okay. We, we need to... Half on, half on 3D. Ooh, that's, that's kind of a big deal. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, head back to Clock Town and uh, hit the bushes there. I, I don't have any bombs. I don't have any arrows. Uh, no doing temples out of order without glitches. Right, right. Half time. Uh, I saw a run of Majora's Mask 3D at the recent GDQ, and. The uh, the textures are redone in a bunch of places. It's I was like, oh wow! It I, I didn't recognize some places, and then I realized that the, it was kind of reskinned, and I was like, oh, that looks really cool. <laughs> I didn't know they they went so far in uh, in the 3DS version to to redo the game. Oh guard, get out of the way! Okay. Let's uh, fill up this heart here, too. That's what I need.
Okay, and over here. It's all I'm gonna do. Uh, my first Hundo run of 3D because the joystick is much better. So the archery games are easier. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm. Um, we ran into the uh, the archery, the swamp archery, and the uh, town shooting gallery right after Woodfall. You know, I was trying to uh, follow the guide, doing the hundred percent, and uh, yeah, doing you know, uh, doing the first part, getting the quiver upgrade, not that bad. Getting a perfect on the on the town thing, I skipped it. And then we went to the swamp area, and I was like, ooh, you want what score? <laughs> I, I will get back to you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've got to think that it's harder to playing on an emulated, uh, you know, with the, uh, you know, with an analog stick that's not, that's not calibrated like the, uh, the N64 stick was. Okay. <laughs> now we'll head out. Uh, and we'll get uh, arrows up here. Required minigame that required uh, 120 points for completion. It took me hours. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I played through uh, in my Kirby series. We played through the uh, the 3DS, or not the 3DS, the DS Kirby's, uh, where you play with the stylus, and uh, there were some games that because of uh, because of the emulation, because of clicking with the mouse and not actually tapping with the stylus, you could not tap fast enough on some of the mini games to actually pass. Like there are a couple of bosses in um, uh, what was it, Canvas Curse, and uh, man. <laughs> Aww. It can get frustrating sometimes. But yeah, I tried for a good good 20-30 minutes. Uh, you know, it's like, nope, you cannot do this in the time that it takes. Nice. I was just kind of <laughs> messing around with this long shot. Um Alright, Goron jump. Okay, let's let's try from back here. To get the the spikes going. Oh, here we go again. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, right. I'm, I'm going by the guide. Let me see what the guide says. Uh, we'll have the ice keys here. Okay, we killed that. Uh, first area where you have to use the Goron jump successively. Curl up and roll. Charge it for long enough, the spikes will come out and you'll be propelled. Uh, second ramp, charge up for another roll if you aren't zipping around already. Uh, there is an owl statue coming up. Good. No, no. <laughs> I don't even show up on Google Maps properly. See if my room was covered, it may not register my house as an actual. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know of a couple of streamers who uh, who are like that. They're like, yeah, I have Amazon Prime, but they basically they they can never get to them on time, and because of that, they have lots of free Amazon Prime because that's what they do once you complain at them. Um, all right, let's activate this. One nineteen, the highest number here is one twenty. For what? 
for some reason my location is 148. That all sounds very odd. Uh, all right, let's see. Not sure I have uh, the piece of heart. Oh, now it wants me to save. And no, we, we've reversed time. Housing, oh, housing complex. I, I get you now. Um, right. If if I take out the, the lens of truth, I'll see the big Goron, but I know he's there. Oh, right, we gotta put him to sleep. Okay, and we may need to have him, like, contextually uh, see him. <laughs> Why are you even doing that, man? Um, oh, and we need the uh, Ocarina. And I need to know what that song is. I think I remember. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. When we <laughs> we got to the cave yesterday, my moderator was on here and it, and he was like, "Oh my god, do the thing already." Oh god. <laughs> Just that, that is a special sound that that they did there. Dude, what were you doing there? <laughs> I'm curious who his mother is, very young, and you never see... Yeah, that is true. His father was the elder, but... Uh, with him out of the way, you can run forward using fire punches to smash the giant boulders. Once you get to a ramp, just use A to roll up it. At the top, you'll see some white wolfos. Okay. All right, punches. Another bound trucks. Uh, thank you for the for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, let's get a let's get a bottle here. That that was a fairy, right? Good. Uh, I <laughs> like yesterday. At some point, I thought I I had released a fairy, but it was just tattle, and I was just trying to catch tattle for about you know ten seconds or so. I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> um. I don't mind the health loss. Oh, yeah, it's... They're, they're more like dancers than anything else. There we go. So I was a great bay looking for fairies, and my sister Jose decided she wanted to help. She points one out, and we've been amazing, but it was Tattle. <laughs> yes. And the thing is, I don't have Tattle out a lot. And so, I was, so I broke something, and I saw I saw her flying. I was like, "Ooh, it's a fairy." It's like, no, no, it's not. All right, uh, we have these uh, the wolf foes. Uh, a couple years ago, uh, white wolf foes you can ignore if you'd like to kill them. All right, you can do a ground pound to kill them. That's interesting. Uh, off to the left is a, a ramp leading clockwise. 
up Snowhead, follow upward using... Oh, they want me to be Goron, okay. Using fire punches on the boulders. The fire punches, you have to be too close. Um, everything is more likely to hit you. Only works if they're facing away. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So, so little, little space to actually get that hit. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. You read a paper over this game? I, I do like the subtext of this game. The, you know, it, it has a very creepy, unsettling aspect to it. Um, I would say I like this one more than uh, than Ocarina of Time, but it's um, like I'm not enjoying this playthrough as much just because uh, because I've played it through two times recently and not finished it. So it seems like a lot. Yeah. Uh, so so I would say of of the the 3D Zeldas of which I've only played Ocarina and Majora, uh, I like Majora better. Um, what do we got? All oh, right, fire punch. Okay. Snowhead. Focus on how Ikana is supposed to represent. Right, right. I, I've seen, I've seen the several, several people make allusions to that. That this is kind of a a large allegory for the stages of grief and just kind of death overall. <laughs> hey, you can still, you can still theorize. All right, well, <laughs> I've gone beyond the, <laughs> the, uh, uh, the guide here. Let me click on the next next part. And things can take forever and a day to load. <laughs> it, it is neat overall. Like there there are some things that are too kind of disjointed and creepy that you know that's just kind of a sidestep to to what like if this was an actual land if termina was an actual place that uh uh you know like a town and stuff was happening it, it would be it would be off it would be like a twin peaks town uh originally the paper was more game centric uh kind of being a place only for the dead or something but three days before it was your teacher said to <laughs> something more universal i see um, okay, finally, there we go. Okay, it's highly recommended that you have time slowed down, of course. Um, white bows, yeah, I, I got them all. Fire punch, ice stalagmites. Uh, grab the block, push it until it falls. Second, uh, white wolfos will be right in front of me. Uh, I wrote the whole paper. I just hope I had an English teacher who was also a Zelda. Oh, cool! Uh, I was assuming some kind of philosophy course, but uh, you're making me think otherwise. <laughs> Oh, English, just straight up English. <laughs> that That's more more on the professor, really. Like, I could have gotten away with something like that. I had a really cool uh, sociology professor, and I could have basically written on anything, you know, as long as I, 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 I kind of uh, flowered up the language. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't ask before. Oh, but you had to pick pop, pop culture. That sounds fun to me then. 
they're, they're kind of opening the door to that. <laughs> uh, all right. Two white wolfos. There are three doors, but you can only enter the dark blue one right for now. All right. Okay. Uh, this room has a new enemy called the Freezard that you want to avoid. Okay. <laughs> First paper in that class was a formal summary of scene three uh, from the Doctor Who 50th anniversary special. The 50th anniversary special was the one with the painting, right? The the moving painting, and uh, that was a Matt Smith and Clara. I I thought that episode was pretty good. I, I think I think I'm on the right one. Just to see it. Okay. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, there are two stray fairies in here. All right, we need the arrows. We won't need the, the that anymore. Okay. Down there. Oh, I see. Okay. That that is not cool. <laughs> I am hitting that. No, no. I, I really need to put those things away. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's do that. I, on the other side. Okay, well that that would be a glitch then. <laughs> that that would be a glitch. <laughs> uh aim at cause this says right when you enter the room. Yeah, and he's aiming at it. Or maybe that's a maybe this is a, a 3DS version thing and it and it is kind of glitched in the Nintendo 64. It's totally invisible. The the guide says that there's two in this room, but I'm to blindly shoot at the ceiling. It's an emulator glitch. I hate those. <laughs> oh, it's in a different room. Okay. <laughs> So where do I have to shoot from? Do you know? Whoops. The other side of the lava. Where I am now. Okay. Cool. That is... I... I shy away so much from, uh, like, I would rather play these games on, like, WiiWare or, uh, or the Wii U Wear or whatever, but they don't allow you to redo the buttons, and the button assignments are, are kind of weird that, that they make you use. So, uh, I'm using the emulator mostly because it allows me to, to use the buttons how I, how I want. Sorry. <laughs> I 
Are you talking about from over there where the ladder is? No. Okay, I'm confused then. You have to be on the other side of the, of the room where you entered. But do I have to be on the on the upper part? Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's the wrong mask. Come to me. Greetings. <laughs> Steam rolled out an update. Yes, I got it last night, placated. <laughs> and I was like, how do I shut off these new things that have happened? I'm going to have to look into it. And yeah. I think the guide will explain this, but if you step into lava as Deku Lake, you'll be <laughs> Yeah, if I step into the lava as a de if I if I am a, a plant person, I will burn. <laughs> oh uh, right, right. It, it's like it's like falling into the poison water. Oh, I I, I want I want Steam to be nothing more than just games. Just my list of games and a place to buy games. Ugh. You want to try it? Crash your whole PC. Nice. Oh, there's the other one. I did not realize it was that small. Went to restart all of my monitor assignments were reversed and then screwed. TV was now main monitor. Uh, uh, Steam can mess with that because of its big picture mode. It's It's got this idea that it wants to have a... The big picture mode is kind of a theater mode. Uh, most people have it just turned off though but it can mess with those kinds of things. I thought I went right past it the first time. I guess it must have been ending. Oh. Okay. Let's just do it right this time. You only go past it if the spikes are out. Ugh. Little things, little things. <laughs> oh, good, good for Scarlet. There we go. All right. See if uh, we can get a good angle here. Uh. Okay. Let's see what the guide has to say. Wow. Uh, I'm. 
I'm accessing the guide on a Firefox that does not have Adblock installed. It's just, uh, it, it, it's special. I'm, <laughs> no, I cannot scream with the Great Fairy Mask. That would be great if I could. That would be awesome if you would do the, the Great Fairy scream. But no, this is a mask that you just put on your face. It doesn't actually transform you. Uh, okay, Freezard, uh, first Stray Fairy. Second Stray Fairy differs in the 64 and the 3DS. 3DS version can be seen at the east end of the room. I'll turn it uh, in the N64 vi version. It'll be at the north end of the room. You can just drop down to ground level. Use the Goron mask to walk across the lava. Underneath the platform. All right. All done. If you fell down the ladder, climb the ladder to get back up. Check out the bridge as a ramp. Roll across, get to the other side. Uh... In the 64 version, Freeze Arts can freeze Goron Link, whereas in the 3DS version, he can roll right by. Oh. Uh, funny story, if you talk to the kid who stands in front of the observatory with the fairy mask on, he'll beg you to take it off because it's scary. It, it's just little things in this game. Little things that are just kind of a little creepy and a little off. It, it really is uh, the, the twin peaks of, of uh, Zelda games. Um, or the end of this room, he looks tad different. Take. But nothing major has changed. Take off the Gorn mask and climb up the nearby stairs. Climb up the nearby stairs. Oh. Okay. Uh, such a, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's very, uh, like, Neil Gaiman has, has always said that he doesn't like to be a terror person, he likes to use terror as one of the tools to tell, uh, you know, overall stories. Uh, <laughs> he has the masks at the wall, I'll have to take a better look at those. Um, Placated, if you weren't around at the beginning of the stream... I was talking a little bit about, I played into more Battle Chef Brigade, Battle Brigade Chef, Battle Chef, whatever. The the cooking game with the gems. <laughs> um, and uh, because my, uh, my MMO was in maintenance last night, uh, so I played a bunch more of that. And they heavily, well not heavily, but they complicated the gem portion but have not complicated the the battle portion yet, and I, I feel like that's gotta that's gotta maintain because if you complicated the battle portion, it would disjoint it. I think even more. But as it is right now, it is on the line of of uh, this is too much of a mishmash for me, especially since they they they're getting more more complex in the puzzles and stuff for the uh, for the food prep. Um, so uh, I have lost a couple of battles now. So so that's a you know that's a thing. Um, so I don't know if it gets any more, you know, it, it's on the line for me. If it gets any more messed up, then I think I'll probably drop it as as a game. Though I am kind of interested in the story. See see what happens. But um, yeah. Okay, we're in the next room. The next room. Uh, you'll see a new enemy in this room called a real bomb chew. Kill it, if you wish, by walking it in, walking into it with your shield. I do wish. Excellent. <laughs> um, can also break the crates for extra rupees should you need them. Uh. I don't need them. I want them though. Okay. Oh, chest. Uh, 
Yeah. Dungeon map. Good deal. Um. Uh, dungeon map. There are two stray fairies in this room, and you can get one right away. It's floating around near the northwest part of the room. Oh, there, there you are. Oh, Cupcake, is this the one that you were talking about? That you can't see it because of an emulator glitch? Northeast, northwest. No, this one you can't, you can't get yet. Oh, it says you can get one right away. <laughs> uh, go back down the stairs and then go to the blue door. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, um, you know, we'll see, uh, you know, perhaps I did get the, the newest version of <clears throat> Project N64. So who knows? Maybe, maybe they've made some, some corrections. Uh, oh, right. Might be a ROM glitch. That's, that's true. Ooh. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. <laughs> I'm glad I'm doing this with the guide. Um, Central Chamber. Welcome to the main room of the dungeon. As you can see, it's huge, and yes, it's a real pain to fall all the way down. Run across to the opposite side and enter the gold-colored door. can no longer do speedruns because only uh, PJ64, 1.6, and 1.7 are allowed. Uh, oh, really? I'm on 2.3. Two, uh, so so what is it then with... Uh, do um, Does the newer version of, of, uh, of uh, Project 64 not... Like, I, I know you can't use some emulators because they don't emulate the lag. So... Because uh, they did a random cover, glitches, child dungeons, no leaderboard. Oh well, yeah, but you, yeah, you do have to go go by their rules, so that that does suck. Uh, it's got to be out there somewhere, you know. Okay, double block room. Put on your Gorn mask. Pull back on the two stones stacked on top of each other. Reveal an alcove with chest containing a small key. Oh. No punch, grab, pull. Uh, probably sped up. Get, get the. You got the key. Um, push the two blocks uh, all the way to the farthest edge of the snowy area. Uh, it's because of less lag. <laughs> yeah, they make the emulator slightly better than the, the console. And, uh, and then it's not good for, it's not good for, uh, uh, submitting runs anymore. And I, this is one, one aspect of gaming that I've always thought that, uh, oh, nice. Like that I should pick a, pick a game that, that I speed run. Um, and I've just never been able to decide what, what I should pick. Uh, but, uh, you know, I do like platformers, 
uh, I do think about, but it's like the the standards, all the Mario's. It's like wow, those guys who have who have got the um, the good times on those. Those are excellent times. <laughs> I think I have heard of the Slenderman movie. I maybe, maybe. I mean, I seem to recall telling my wife when I saw the the trailer for it, it's like, wow, that is like, uh, you know, eight years too late. <laughs> like Slenderman isn't really a thing anymore. Head back to the central room. Head over to the frozen red door. Notice it has a torch. Stand next to uh, it and shoot an arrow. I have two arrows. If only that <laughs> that first that first fairy I would have known. Uh, played the eight pages? I, I don't know what that is. Oh! Eight pages! Yes, it's that game. It's it's that game with the Slenderman in it, and you have to collect uh, pages. Um, yeah, that was at the height of, of, uh, of the Slenderman meme. Slated release next month. Good lord. Uh, thus creating a shortcut. Alternatively, you can go back to the room with the freeze arts. No. Once back in the main chamber, chamber. Do, do your thing. There we go. <laughs> uh, use a small key to enter the cyan colored door. There we go. First time I played, I found myself. I was a streamer yet. <clears throat> I didn't know what OBS was. Got my reaction to my brother jumping. And, and screaming at a tense moment. I, <laughs> I do understand. Okay. Two white wolf hosts that will only attack if you get close. Best to ignore them. Open the large chest. Get the compass. Second time I wasn't technically caught. But I'm 100% positive he was right behind me, <laughs> based on how much static I was getting. <laughs> uh, there are three stray fairies in the room, but you can only get one at the moment. They will all be covered a bit later. Okay, if they're going to be covered later, I'll, I'll get them later. I run to the opposite side of the room, you find a cracked wall. Use a bomb. It says use a bomb or a bomb or the bomb mask. And I'm like, ugh. Don't take damage if you don't have to. My ex uh, boyfriend tried getting me to play another scary indie game. No jump scares, but still scary. I got too creeped out and quit. Later, watched the playthrough, saw the ending. I was glad you noped out. <laughs> uh, I know Placated has played through. Uh, what was that game? Spooky's Spooky's Mansion of Jump Scares, Spooky's House of Jump Scares, um, and I've seen a little bit of that on stream. Uh, but it starts out all stupid and then actually becomes a uh, uh, an actually creepy game. Uh, run up the stairs. If you she really, I am going to try that right now. Whoa, 
what do you know? Okay. And also the bomb mask is is a uh, is glitched. <laughs> Like you or or no, the the texture is just similar to the to the wall. It it looked like I could see through it. It looked like I could see through it. I can see through it. It goes transparent and then it recharges. Okay. I see. What 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 are you doing up there, Tattle? What? It's an icicle, just like the one we saw outside. Are you suggesting something? <laughs> uh, icicles of death. In this room, there are several pillars that stick out of the ground, but many of them are covered in large chunks of ice. Look at the ceiling and find several icicles. Kind you can shoot with your bow, make them fall, break things. Uh, and the smaller ones which try to kill you when you pass under them. I won't say what... Uh, sorry, but... Is by being chased by a legless little girl who wants to kill you to scare your music. Oh, that sounds special. I know, uh, I am not into any kind of spooky, scary game. Like, it, it's just not my thing. Uh, I don't enjoy them. Uh, play something close to that. I... I know, uh, Placated, you played something... You played something with dolls that just looked really creepy when you showed it to me. Oh, this was a PC game. Dolphins. <laughs> no, no. Yes, doll, doll stages and horror games. Let's be added off to a profit player, yes. <laughs> I, I don't know how the first one hit and the second one did it. But, uh. Oh, let, let's take that off. Mm-hmm. Scheduling a horror night. I'm sure it must be great. Must be great for, uh, you know, if you have a, an audience. They must love it, of course. Money is... Jump on from another. <clears throat> Do it. Small key. but didn't have camera yet this month uh, boyfriend was gonna stay over and I was gonna do it on Friday the 13th because he didn't but he didn't even get to uh, till 10 we had dinner right 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 it's canceled Ted right right <laughs> I figured money is good stuff all right All oh, right, the frosty snow to the right. Yeah, that's a there's a there's a hole in the wall there. Right, horror game ideas. 
Uh, I've had a couple of thoughts. Shrey Fairy. Good. Uh, amnesia. Amnesia is a big one, of course. Mm, artist composed his greatest painting through through guilt and suffering or something. Uh, <laughs> I have amnesia, but that's because I got it for free from something. Uh, like I said, I am not. I am not a horror person. It. Either I don't enjoy it, it's like, I don't want to, like, I want to watch a horror movie. I do enjoy that. Uh, I don't want to play through one. Uh. Penumbra! Okay. Turn to work your way to where the garden rests. Uh, roll your small key, drop down, enter the locked door. There we go. Trying to pull books off. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> this is the room with the invisible fairy. I will take a look around. Something is... What's going on? Oh, there's a ramp. Oh! Hi, guys! Uh, little snowballs of evil. That's so adorable, though. Um, Twitch puzzle. Jump down to the story area, use a ground pound to kill the white bows. Oh, they're gone. Put on the great fairy mask and use the lens of truth to look straight up, where you'll find a bubble in the ceiling. I do not I do not see it. Okay. Put on the great fairy mask. Let's do that. Use the lens of truth and look straight up where you'll find a bubble in the center of the ceiling. Okay, let me see where this this is kind of the center here like here that's special Well, I'm glad you're here because, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I would have, I would have hit the guide and, and been like, I can't find, I can't find the bubble that it's allu alluding to. Um, okay. So they haven't, if this is an emulator glitch, then, then they haven't patched it out of, of this one. Um, uh, the truth. 
Hero bow and wait for the fifth. Put on the Goron mask. Goron mask. Oh, that tip was given to you by someone. Yeah, those are the things. Uh, like I was talking about the the emulator, I wouldn't play Ocarina in the N64 emulator because I know that early on there were lots of sprite issues. Like you just couldn't see some things. Um, but I played it in the GameCube emulator, the collector's edition, and it worked really well. I had a couple of couple of lag moments, but uh, uh, it was not too bad at all. Um, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if, if they just weren't so darned convenient. I mean, I've got the cartridge, I've got the N64, and I've got a controller, but I gotta lug all that stuff down from the attic, and, and you know, have you seen the N64 controller? This, this was not the, the best of ideas here. <laughs> um... Uh, use the Goron Ground Pound to do this switch puzzle, okay? Right, yeah, then you need a capture device. I mean, I've got the capture device, but it's it's all that much more set up. Oh, placated. Cupcake is telling me about a, an error in the game. <laughs> Yes, so, so yeah, there, there, there haven't been it. You know, not that there can be spoilers, <laughs> because of the. Uh, uh, I'm just going by the guide anyway. Let's see, tattle. Uh, do you think you can push down something this big just by standing on it? You're going to have to find some way to pound it down, maybe with the ground. Huh? Wait, how do we do this? Uh, on the yellow switch, take off the Goron mask, jump across to the other side. Do -do -do. Bought an Elgato because Sly Cooper wouldn't run on a. Yeah. Sly is such a good series. It's, uh, I'm, I'm waiting to be in the mood for that. Uh, is there a compilation of Sly, placated if you know, for, for PS4? I've got the PS4. It, it would be nice if there was a, a good HD compilation. <laughs> Pound the green switch. Run back to the middle, pound the... What was this? Pound the green switch. Run back to the middle and pound the yellow switch. Run back to the middle? What middle? What's oh. Oh, on the PSN store? That would be for PS3, then. Okay, let me see what, what this says first. Pound the first yellow switch. This raises the one in the middle. Oh, is that that's a switch. I thought that was just a platform. Okay. All right, I gotcha. Pound the yellow switch, disenveiling the door, looking to take off the Gorod mask and climb on top of the green one. I see. Okay. 
And this door, right? I'm guessing that's what it wanted me to do. And go through the door. Central chamber. I'm <laughs> oh, but I'm on the second floor. Uh, should name my future son Bentley. <laughs> Might as well name him Reginald Assembly, else equally 18th century British. Uh, It, it's a little odd. I thought the I thought the yellow platform was just a platform. I didn't think it was a switch, um, but uh, of course, if you just pound around, you'll you'll get the right sequence anyway. Um, okay, Goron, roll to the opposite side where you'll find some stairs that are blocked with ice. Don't worry, you'll be able to do something about that soon. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Turn to the right and roll across the snow drift in the corner. If you fall into the wooden canopy, just go back. Back. I mean, I know it can happen. <laughs> it's not like warning warning me would have done anything. <laughs> uh, the red, I'm going to the red door. <laughs> I, I'm just being slow, really, because I'm reading the guide. Uh, I should be more careful, though. Oh, you can stay in your room there. Oh, was it the other door? It's the other door. yellow door over here. Well, now that now that we're off off book a little bit. Okay, we've done all this. Okay, that red door leads back. Blue. Take the stairs. Uh, right, right. Yeah, I mean, you can say that, <laughs> but uh, but until I, I fall a couple of times, I, I probably won't. Oh, 
Oh, that was just for, uh... Across to the gold door. You are ill. Oh, I, I hope you feel better. That's not. Okay, let's see. Hunger headache. Oh, need something. Oh, we got. <laughs> Back to the entrance. Cyan-colored door. Ah, uh, expired food. <laughs> oh, Link. Don't scare me, bro. <laughs> no, this, this is not the cyan-colored door. Head over to... Okay, the frozen red door. This was... Don't be so piggy! You... Am I just mistaking this room? I am! I was mistaking this for the other for the other room. Okay. That was a confusion there. Yes, it's the light, the light blue. Yeah. Is it the cyan or, or the slightly dark, darker cyan? Okay. <laughs> uh, Are we gonna have to do this again? Default color. <laughs> it is yellow. You did not curl. I did push the right button. Okay. <laughs> okay, at least I didn't fall all the way down. Random things have color. For example, I believe circles are also yellow, triangles green, rectangles are red, and squares are blue. Is, is this just in your head? I mean, I do understand that. That's a, uh, you know, I have odd associations as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, back on track. <laughs> Uh, 
Todd Chase. Yeah, that, that's high possibility. Uh, like, I know I'm a... Uh, don't remember much about preschool. Like, I'm a, a left-handed guitar player. Like, I am naturally, like, I pick it up right, I pick up a guitar right-handed, and it is just the most foreign thing in the world. But I, I do write with my right hand. And I figured it must have been that uh, in, in kindergarten, they, uh, I was left-handed, but they just kept putting the, the pencil in my right hand. That, that must have happened. And so I just got accustomed to, to using it in my right hand. And thus, as I pick up handed things later in life, I'm figuring out that I was probably left-handed the whole time. Those, those early, early things, though, can really mess with you. Uh, all right, all right. We, we have, we have gone across a snowdrift there. Um, I take the snowdrift. Uh, break the snowball here for goodies, if you like. What? Then Goron will roll to the to the west side. Oh, they want me to go over there. Oh, I thought this door would have would have been the the new the next thing. Go over here. There's a door. It's open. I would have gone through the door. Quest like, no, nah, no, nah, jump across the, the ravine. <laughs> uh, first mini boss of the dungeon. There are four Wizro. Oh, I remember this. We, we are full up on arrows. Good. I want you to do this with a bow, I know. solid.
dawn of the second day. Fire arrows. Nice. This <laughs> makes fun. Yes, yes, I, I do understand that. Um, okay, uh, we're at an hour and a half. You don't have to do that one puzzle. Yes, yes, I, I do get the... the uh, I've been waiting for the fire arrows. <laughs> I, but I did forget what was in here, but uh, thinking about it now, it makes sense that the fire arrows were here. Um, I do have kind of a complicated dinner to do tonight, so uh, I need to get on that. We're, we're at an hour and a half. This is a good uh, pausing place in this dungeon. Like I mentioned before, um, I'm not really going to parse much about using safe state. If I get to a place where I need to stop to uh, to stop the stream or whatever, I'm just going to go ahead and state, and we're going to uh, re we're going to we're going to do it again from the state next time. Today is Thursday, so there will be no stream tomorrow, uh, but there will be a stream on Saturday during the day. Uh, later, Cupcake, I really appreciate you coming around and uh, talking about uh, various aspects of the game. I, I always love hearing hearing the little, uh, the interesting things like the invisible uh, sprites and, and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you anybody else who is, who is in the uh, in the chat lurking. I, I do appreciate the support. Uh, we will be hitting this Saturday during the day. Uh, Noonish is usually when I get around to the stream. Uh, so come around. We'll be picking up the dungeon from right here. Uh, Till then, take care, everybody, and I'll see you guys then. <laughs>